new report reveals fewer people are dying from drug overdoses across the Commonwealth. But the problem is still very real in southwest Virginia, particularly Roanoke City. And 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett joins us now in the studio tonight. So, Lindsay, you spoke with an expert who's, who's optimistic but says there's some work that needs to be done. That's right. He says he's cautiously hopeful about the statistics, uh, but the good news is that for the first time in six years, the number of drug overdose deaths dropped from the previous year, but it's only a slight drop, and the findings show that other drugs are on the rise. More than car accidents and gun-related deaths, drug overdoses are the leading cause of unnatural death in Virginia. But while a new Department of Health report shows there has been improvement since last year, Dr. Warren Bickle from the Virginia Tech Carilion Fralin Biomedical Research Institute says that doesn't mean things are looking up. Well, it's hopeful, right? But uh, we'll need more data before we can start to say, well, things are turning well for us. The report looked at five different drugs, benzodiazepines, cocaine, fentanyl, heroin, and prescription opiates. Cocaine deaths jumped 11.5 percent and meth increased 44.3 percent. Fentanyl caused or contributed to nearly 55 percent of all deadly overdoses. Out of the cocaine deaths, 65 percent involved fentanyl and 46.5 percent of all methamphetamine overdoses involved fentanyl. You never know what you're getting when you, when you buy in the illicit market. The problem is a very real one for Southwest Virginia. Roanoke City and Martinsville had the highest percentage of drug overdose deaths compared to the population. There's a greater prevalence of drug dependence issues in lower socioeconomic status areas um, and people that have limited um, economic or educational opportunities. Next is Franklin and Henry counties, followed by other surrounding areas. Our rural areas, it's in our cities, it's in um, families that are um, middle class and lower class and higher class, it's all over the place. We have a big, big addiction problem in the United States that we have to address in a very confronted way because um, many, many people are dying every year. Dr. Bickle says the problem isn't just about one specific drug or another. There's an overall addiction problem in America. Dr. Bickle tells me there needs to be more education, treatment beds, and resources to address contributing factors like socioeconomic disparity, a lack of transportation, or unemployment. If you'd like to learn more about addiction and treatment resources in the area, just head to our website. Live in the studio, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.